beauties and welcome back to my channel. So in this video today, I'm gonna show you guys how to get this Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look. And I saw this beautiful photo on her Instagram and I love her eyeliner, I love her lipstick. I just love everything about this makeup look. So I'm gonna try to recreate that today. I also did my hair like her and I accessorized a lot like her in this photo. And I just think it's such an amazing photo for so many reasons and I love the caption of this photo. It says, I'm gonna do whatever makes me happy. And I think that's amazing because life is too short to not do whatever makes you happy. So Kylie's got the right idea going on there. So if you guys like this makeup look, if you guys like these celebrity inspired looks, this Kylie Jenner look, make sure you like this video and subscribe if you wanna see more makeup tutorials from me. And if you guys wanna know how to get this Kylie Jenner inspired look, then just keep on watching. All right, so to start this look out, we're gonna go in and prime our skin as usual, and I'm gonna be using the Tarte Clean Slate Flawless Primer, and this is super, super hydrating, and it's really, really nice on the skin. And I'm just gonna apply this with a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. So Kylie Snapchats quite a bit, and sometimes she does her makeup on Snapchat and shows what she's using. And I took a mental note of that. I saw that she mixed an Urban Decay foundation with a Makeup Forever foundation, and it was actually this one here, which is one that I use a lot. And the thing that I love about this is that it looks so good in pictures, and it's just amazing on the skin, so I'll be using this today. So I'm just going with this product right onto the Beauty Blender and just blending this into my skin. I also noticed that Kylie uses the black beauty blender and I actually have one and I do use it but I only use it for my powder because I feel like it's a little bit too dense for foundation um, but it, that one will just give you more of like a higher coverage than a pink one would. So now for concealer, I believe she does use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. She did show this on Snapchat, and I think the color that she does use is vanilla. I'm not 100%, but this is a very brightening shade. It's a little bit lighter than my skin tone, and me and her are close to the same skin tone. So I'm just gonna go in and draw out these little triangles. So now I'm just gonna go in and blend this all out using a beauty blender. So now I'm gonna set underneath my eyes using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and she did also show this on Snapchat. A lot of the things I'm gonna be showing you guys today is what she uses, like, I think, when she does her makeup every day, so I'm trying to kind of use the same products to see if I can achieve the same look, but I'm also trying to stick to this photo that I am going by. So she has a really bright under eye in this photo, so I'm gonna use this. This is a very brightening powder, and you can set your under eyes with it, and it keeps it nice and matte, and it doesn't crease. So I'm just taking some of that powder and I'm going to press it right underneath my eyes until I start to see it disappear. I totally forgot how amazing this powder is. It just makes you look like a porcelain doll. It just looks so good. I usually use my Cody Airspun powder. You guys probably see me use that so much, but that one's also a really great drugstore option if you don't want to purchase the Laura Mercier. So next I'm going to set my whole face using my Urban Decay foundation powder. So she does use a brow pencil, but I'm gonna use a pomade today. I'm going to mimic her brows a little bit. She has a pretty good arch going, and I think I'm gonna do that. She uses the shade medium brown, so that's the same thing that I'm gonna use, and I feel like I can do that because we do have dark hair. I'm gonna try to wing it with this shade. All right, so I'm going in, and I'm gonna draw that arch out pretty high, and then bring it back down. When I go towards the front, I'm just flicking my brush up to give a very like natural look in the front because the front of her eyebrows are not blocked off or anything like that. They're just really natural in the front. All right, so now that we've got these super arched brows, I'm gonna go in and set them using a brow gel and I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. So now I'm just priming my eyes for the shadows we're gonna be using today because you wanna make sure that you always prime if you want your makeup look to last, and just like you prime your face, you're gonna wanna prime your eyelids too. And I'm just using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pop, but you could actually use your concealer or a foundation to prime your lids. And I never really set them with any powder because I really want that pigment 
to shine through so I just leave it like this and start on the eye look right after. So for our transition color I'm going to be using orange soda from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is just a really nice natural color that we're just going to add right in the upper crease. So I'm just patting this right in the upper crease to keep it nice and pigmented. I'm not really moving it around too much. From what I noticed in the photo, she has really shimmery lids, so I'm going to go in with this Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art in Topaz, and I'm just going to take the cream shadow and apply it to my lid. So I'm just taking it and applying it directly to the lid. And with this kind of shadow, you're going to want to wait for it to dry at least like two minutes, and then we're going to go in with a darker shadow to kind of blend things out. So now I'm going to go back into the crease with Burnt Orange by Anastasia. And I'm just taking this into the crease to darken everything a little bit. So next I'm going to go in with Fudge by Anastasia and I'm going to put it on the outer V to really smoke everything out. And I'm using this on a Morphe M32 and I'm just going to go right in the outer V. And as I'm dropping this color into the crease and kind of blending this in, I'm also creating kind of like a cat-like shape because she does have really cat-like eyes and I feel like her makeup for the most part has this type of shape to it. It's actually very wingy and sharp, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of bringing it out a little bit. I'm also taking this color a little bit inwards just keep on blending until you have a really nice warm brown smoky eye. So next I'm going to take the shade Blanc by Anastasia and this is a very nice bone colored shade and it's matte. I'm going to take this on my pencil brush and I'm going to go in and highlight underneath the brow bone. This is going to make everything blend out really nicely and highlight that brow which she definitely has going on in this photo. Alright, so we're going to come back to that eye look, but next I'm going to go in and do the mascara and lashes. So I'm going to be using the Tarte Lash Paint, of course, because it's the best. And I'm going to be using the Flutter Lashes Intoxicating Lashes, which are so beautiful. They're wispy and they remind me a lot of like Kylie's lashes, so they're super long. They're gorgeous. So now I'm going to take the shadow Rich Brown by Anastasia, and this is a very dark, rich brown. And I'm taking this on a Sigma E44, and I'm going to go right in the crease kind of where my lash line ends and bring it upward to make this super smoky. I'm just bringing that up into the crease. If it helps if you look up, you can kind of bring it right up into your crease. All right, so now we're gonna smoke that lower lash line out a lot. And I'm using this dark brown eyeliner by Makeup Geek, but you can use a black or a brown. Either will work just fine. But I'm gonna start with brown first, and then if I wanna deepen it up more, I might jump into a black. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna line out that waterline with this pencil. And you can actually bring this down onto your lash line a little bit. Alrighty, so going back into fudge, I used it before in the crease. I'm gonna go in and start smoking this out a lot. Seems like for a lot of her looks that she does, um, that look really sultry, really sexy, very warm, and just super Kardashian, very traditional Kardashian look. It's always very, very dark on that lower lash line, from what I noticed. And I think it's so beautiful, and it makes you look so mysterious, if that makes sense. It's just a very beautiful look that I feel really complements her features. So I am really, really smoking this out a lot. And if you do not really like putting too much dark on the bottom of your lash line, then you can skip this part. But I feel like this really makes her look very signature and something that I see her do a lot. So now that we've got that super smoky, I'm gonna go in with some mascara on the lower lashes. All right, so lastly, to finish this eye look off, I'm gonna go in with MAC Nylon and I'm going to be highlighting inner corners of my eyes and also the really really highest point of my little highlight I have going on here. So I'm just taking this on a really small brush and I'm not going to overly do this 
she has just a little touch of a highlight right in the inner corner and it's very very subtle so now i'm going to be warming up my face and doing a little bit of contouring using the too faced chocolate soleil bronzer and i'm using this on a morphe e4 i'm just going to go in and start really warming up my skin because in this photo she does have kind of warm skin and it is slightly contoured so i'm just keeping this right on the high point of my cheek I'm also going to make my forehead look smaller and more like Kylie's by taking this bronzer and really just bronzing up that forehead on the outer corners. This is going to make it look a lot smaller and also if you take your bronzer and really apply it to your hairline pretty heavily, this is going to make your forehead look a lot smaller. Kylie also has a very heart-shaped face so I'm going to go in and emphasize my jaw a little bit because she does have a really really good jawline. And try to bronze mine up using the same bronzer. So Kylie uses a lot of blushes by Sephora, so I'm gonna go in with Sweet On You, which is a nice peachy color, and I feel like it looks a lot like the color she's wearing in this photo. And I'm just using this on a Morphe G4, and I'm just dipping right into that blush. It's such a pretty, pretty color, I love it. Next we're going to be highlighting, so I'm going to be taking my Morphe M310, spraying it with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray, and I spray it about twice. And then I'm going to go into my Anastasia Glow Kit, and I'm going to take the shade Summer. And I'm just going to dip my brush right into that, and then I'm going to go in and start highlighting, because she does have a really nice glow. It's not super intense, I'm kind of going a little overboard with it, but I think it's really pretty. And looks really good with this look. So next I'm going to go in and contour my nose a little bit. I'm using my Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer and I'm using this on a Sony Kashuk brush. I'm just going to go in and kind of try to emphasize my nose a little bit like Kylie's. And then I like to go back in with a smaller powder brush and just blend out that nose contour. So now I'm going to take Summer again, which is the highlight we use, and I'm just going to highlight my nose a little bit. And lastly, I'm going to go in with her lip kit in Dolce K. And first I'm going to take the lip liner, which is so beautiful, and I'm going to go and I'm going to overline my lips very slightly because she has larger lips than me, so I'm just going to try to mimic her lips a little bit. So we got the bottom lip overlined. Now that we've got our lips overlined and lined up, I'm going to go in with Dolce K Matte Liquid Lipstick. All right, so now I'm just gonna set my face using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. All right, so now that we've got this look done, I'm gonna go and try and style my hair like Kylie and put on a similar outfit and accessories, and I'll be right back. All right, beauties, so this is the finished look on this makeup look here by Kylie Jenner. I love it, I love the way it turned out, and I love doing these celebrity-inspired looks, so make sure, if you do love them too, to like this video and subscribe if you wanna see more Kylie Jenner makeup tutorials from me or any other celebrity looks I will be doing because you know I'm gonna be doing so many because they're just so much fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one.